Insurance giant Aviva has pushed out one of its most senior women while she was on maternity leave. Sarah Morris, 40, was made the chief people officer in August 2015 and was awarded at the Financial Times Heroes in 2017 after her Equality Drive campaign. She launched it just 18 months ago to give all new parents the same amount of paid time off. But Ms. Morris went on maternity leave last July, was believed to have given birth to a boy in August, and was sent on gardening leave at the end of last month. JPG height equals 634 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border ink share copy link to paste in your message The mother described Aviva as a fantastic businesses despite the plan to hand over the baton It comes despite the firm pledging to help new parents and hitting out at other companies for not promoting women Ms. Morris's page has been taken down from the leadership part of the company's website and leaves just three women out of eight people on its board, as well as three out of 12 women in its leadership team. Aviva which employs around 30,000 staff in total and has major offices in Norwich, Bristol, Sheffield, York, Perth, and Bishopricks outside Glasgow has faced criticism for its actions. Anne Frank, chief executive of the Chartered Management Institute, told the Sunday Times, this suggests Aviva is not walking the walk. What sort of signal does this send to employees, to women and men who want children? A spokesman for Aviva said, while we will not comment on the details of any individual's departure, diversity and inclusion in the workplace is fundamental to Aviva in all its forms and across all levels of the organization. Ms. Morris said in a statement today, after nearly four years being a member of the executive team and leading Aviva's people function, I am handing over the baton of chief people officer to pursue the next challenge in my career. As you can imagine this has not been an easy decision, but it will allow a new chief people officer to lead Aviva through the next important chapter. Aviva is a fantastic business which I know will go from strength to strength under Maurice's leadership. I wish you all every success in the future. Maurice Tullidge, Group CEO, added, I have had the pleasure of working with Sarah as a colleague over the past four years. She is an incredibly capable and commercial executive who has brought a unique style, infectious enthusiasm, and unmatched passion for our employees to Aviva. JPG height equals 633 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border imc share copy link to paste in your message her list of accomplishments is long and noteworthy but most importantly I will remember Sarah as a great friend, colleague, and leader. I wish her well. Aviva has previously claimed it would end contracts with other businesses who refuse to put women in senior roles. Ms. Morris previously issued a letter saying that publicly backing women's initiatives would give them a competitive edge. It posted a picture of Ms. Morris on its Twitter page in November 2017 with the caption, We are committed to supporting all of our people who want to take time out from their career to spend with their family. Share this article share that's why we are offering equal pay parental leave for all new Aviva parents. 
Ms. Morris added to the evening standard last year. My team and I have recently implemented global parental leave in most of our markets. It's a fully funded equal parental leave for all our colleagues when they have a child. I'm about to go on maternity leave and I'm taking a proper amount of time out between six and nine months. I'm not going to try and be a superhero who works until the day that my baby arrives. I will come back to this role. The question is, will I come back full time four days a week? I don't know. I think you can have a brilliant career and love what you do and have a family. The company was already facing problems this week as it announced it will cut around 1,800 jobs over the next three years as part of an overhaul to save pounds 300 million a year. JPG height equals 423 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border im share copy link to paste in your message Aviva said it will look to keep redundancies to a minimum with some of the role cuts coming from natural staff turnover It is not given a split of which teams or offices will be affected, but said the cuts will be made across its UK and international operations. The group also announced plans to split its UK life and general insurance businesses to enable stronger accountability and greater management focus. It said savings will be made across central costs contractor and consultant spend, reduction in project, spend and in other areas. The job cuts have been announced just three months after the appointment of a new chief executive. Maurice Tullidge told investors that finding savings was essential to remain competitive. JPG height equals 499 width equals 632 alt equals class equals book border im share copy link to paste in your message he said, reducing Aviva's costs is essential to remain competitive and this means tough decisions and job losses which I do not take lightly. We will do all we can to minimize redundancies and support our people through this. He added, I am also determined to crack Aviva's complexity, an issue which has held back our performance for too long. The group said its separated UK life business will be headed up by Angela Darlington, formerly Chief Risk Officer, while previous Canadian boss Colm Holmes has been appointed Chief Executive of UK General Insurance. Customers will not see any changes as a result of the UK split, it said. The combined business was previously led by Andy Briggs, who stepped down in April just weeks after he missed out on the top job. He remains with the insurer until October 23 to support an orderly transition. M.R. Tullidge, who took over from former boss Mark Wilson, said in April he was leading a review of the UK businesses to ensure the appropriate management structure.